Yes! I'd covered Jumping Flash 2, but not the original, owing to its oldness. I mean, old, old. Big ass PlayStation case old. Playtime. So when I found this Clarkian monolith wedged inside Felicity from Worcestershire's care package to the underwater, um, intergalactic, strained star ocean reference, I knew I had to give it a whirl. Back to a time when the evil Baron Aloha was a bad guy. Back before that weird tutu wearing banana showed up. Back when the Pittsburgh Pirates had only amassed three consecutive losing seasons. This is what 3D platforming looked like 17 years ago. And frankly, it still holds up. People, Robert can do the job. Let's go, Robert. As the frenetic yet quaint opening footage informs us, our great hope is in fact a white rabbit robot thing deployed into a series of three-stage worlds, being terrorized by the festive Baron and his squid-like Moo Moo army. In order to progress from one stage to the next, you need to acquire the four booster jets bearing the letters E, X, I, and T, shaped like carrots, of course, and then land on the exit platform, though how you go about doing that is completely up to you. The most revolutionary aspect of Jumping Flash is its sense of freedom, letting you jump, bounce, shoot, and stomp wherever you like, so long as you don't fall off the world. Impeding you is a slew of low-poly monsters like something out of a coloring book, usually perched precariously on exactly the platform you need to occupy. Yeah. Fortunately, your rabbit rabbit robot is outfitted not only with double-barrel blasters, but can get equipped with a wide array of fireworks, including bombs, roman candles, rockets, and thankfully not those weird black things that grow into creepy snakes and smell weird. <laughs> But what if we were to render the theme to Firefly moot and actually take the sky from you? With just one action, the game goes from platformer to corridor shooter, maintaining exactly the same mechanics but drastically changing the gameplay. It's a perfect example of thinking outside the box, even if the net result is a feeling of more boxed inness. Add to that target heavy bonus stages that reward extra lives and it becomes clear that Jumping Flash is a strong early argument for 3D platforming. Certainly illustrates the diversity of the concept. I actually feel that Jumping Flash is a bit better for landing jumps in 3D than its successor, thanks to the visibility of that huge freaking shadow you give off. Apparently, it's always high noon in space, just for your convenience. Then Mario 64 happened and kind of steamrolled it, but you can go back and relive the magic for yourself via the PlayStation Network or by tracking down one of those huge box versions and renting yourself a forklift. 